Hi guys, this is Asakato. Okay, as you can request, this is how I, you know, make this album. You can see, isn't that cute? I just love this. So, um, the paperback that I used is celebrated from Michael's. Michael does carry different color, different sizes too. But this one is 6 inches by 2 inches by 3 and 3 quarter. So it comes with black, white, pink, I believe, I'm not sure. But it's have more than that craft color so but I happen to have like craft and black so I'm um, gonna use this one again so I use in here like six bags in there so um you can use many as you want so just expand your biting so I'm gonna use three of these now six of them so now you want so what you need is a lot of scar tape guys a lot of scar tape making up is a lot of work and a lot of scar tape so you want to make sure you put these just slide it up So just burnish and you're gonna trim it up. It depends on how long you want this is your paperback album. Okay guys. So like you have to think about this. This is without the the, the tag insert in the envelope. So you're not gonna see so I decided to punch this slot there guys because I was I did was you know mis as you know estimate about the uh, the tag in there because if you put tag in there if it stick out this cannot be closed so if you put that one too deep you know have a hard time you know take it out your photo so I did use the sucker punch to punch the hole for the you know finger pole so that easy to pull out your you know photo out so you have to think about it keep in mind when you're doing this album or right, okay so that was being said so I'm thinking that because I want outside to be perfectly um, not more than six and a quarter so this one have to be a little bit shorter than six and a quarter otherwise it's gonna have a hard time of the uh, putting this one uh, close to side back there okay so I'm going to trim this one it's because that keep in mind guys when we put this one the the back is it's not reached over there you have to have a little bit space otherwise your paper bag will not open like this you know what I mean not lay like this Okay. All right. So this one at least um, six inches of paper bag, or a little bit shorter. I can do like a well. I can do at least six inches. Because I want to leave this bit between this bag here to this end here, so at least a quarter. So I'm gonna cut this paper bag, it's six inches. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit short, so you can see that compared to this one, so that I have enough space for the photo tag, so I don't have to cut this. I mean, I don't have to punch the finger pole there to pull out the photo that I put in there. So that's it, you know, it's up to you, that's the optional. So for me, this one I'm gonna cut at 6 inches in my paper bag, okay? So 
I'm gonna cut these off camera and okay guys I'm back so now we're going to use a skull tape to right there don't peel sticky yet because we're gonna cover with the paper first before we peel those and you're gonna need to use skull tape I heal right here from here on that side don't I uh, use scotch tape on that side, okay? So what you wanna do is so we not peel it yet. When we seal it's when we have a flap, you know what I mean? Because the flap on this side. If you put the adhesive on that side, you have to re you no know, reapply the scar tape there so you put only on that side. Same thing with this one. You put your scar tape on that side. Okay. So now you want to cut the paper. So this is about Six, uh, six inches by three and a half, right? So you want to cut those because we use six bags, so you need the uh, five and three because I wanted to have the border. So I usually cut my paper, pattern paper, half inch shorter than actual paper. So you will need 12 of these to cut. So I'm gonna cut. Five and three quarter by three and let me see this one. Hang on, guys. Is like this one is a little bit. If you can see that, a little bit more than um three and a half. So I'm gonna cut my paper at the um. Add three and no five and five and three and yeah five and three okay I'm gonna write it out guys so my paper pattern paper gonna be five and three quarter by three and three eight how's that the reason if I cut um three and a quarter you know why because on my biting part, I I have to cut exactly and but then I don't want it to get too short. You know what happened when get too short is the paper will show. You know what I mean? Um, let me see if I can show you guys. Did you can see that? So I did not like that. So what you want to do is cut your paper pattern paper match with the pattern the size. The, the width is the same side, it, it will look uh, much more better. Okay, so my pattern paper I'm cut 5 and 3 quarter by 3 and 3 eight. Alright, so I'm gonna use this paper 6 by 6. That's always love using 6 by 6 to make album because it uses a lot of paper and it goes really quick. So I'm gonna use this paper. So, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this paper and then we're going to cut my pattern paper. I'm gonna, it's just really heavy. So, this is going to be 3 and 3 8. Yep, that's look pretty good. By um let me see if I can cut is how this one will look. Mm, I like this one better. So now I'm going to cut not five and three quarter. Hang on, arrest it. Okay, my pattern paper I cut at five and 
pen. So this so it's um sixteen inch. So I'm cut this right sixteen because it's right here. No, um, is that thirteen? <laughs> I'm confusing. You know what? So this one eight, eight, and then twelve. I think maybe thirteen. That's what it said. Hang on, let me make sure. Okay, my pattern paper, I cut this into um, 5 and five and 13, 16 there to 3 and 3, 8. I think this one perfectly fit. So I have a tiny bit of border there. Love it. So you're going to cut all those, right? So this one to cover this side, okay? And then you want to cut another one. For this this side, so three and three eight right. By five and thirteen. So this, but send this one. We're gonna have the pocket, so you're gonna cut this. So it depends on how much border you want it to be. This is about 3 inches deep, the bottom here, no 2 inches. So I'm going to cut this, um, same thing, 1 and 13 inch, 1 and 13. So. So this one will be right there, and for this piece, it's going to be right there. See that? That is perfect. So yeah, you will cut this, so send this one to the back. If you want light to have more border, you can cut, but I think I like this one better, okay? So now you will cut the rest of this. Um, what five? I think it's eleven more dips, and we have uh, six pairs. So this is two page. But this one is lap over. You don't worry. We're gonna use it for a flap. So you wanna cut those and distress all the heavy. And I will be right back after I cut all my. Pieces. Hey guys, I'm back. So now I cut all the pieces on the back. Okay. So what I'm going to do is for the big piece, this piece on the back, I'm going to peel all this except on this end here because we cannot buy this one. Okay? Because if you pull that one and you buy it later the back, it's gonna get a problem. Or you can put the back in the uh, in a biting fur, it's up to you. I don't know which way that you like to do better. But for this side, it's fine, guys, on this side. So on this one, I'm going to arrange this. So I'm not going to use this as the same. So we're going to use this with different page. So like that one. I'm going to put this page here, you know, you're right there. And we use this right there see so I'm gonna alternate all the the paper not sure which one up side that wall it doesn't matter I suppose so this one might be right there
and this one going to be right there and this one to be right here and this one be right there okay so now I'm going to peel this one so I told you guys it a lot of adhesive okay here the storm coming crazy weather so I'm gonna light this one up I'm here, but I need to go potty. I brought some toys in here. Okay. Cody in here because he's scared of the storm. So, and now you can peel this one. See you already? It's no problem. And now we can peel this one. So this is a pocket, photo pocket right there. See it's right there. So what we'll do this one later on the back? I can do this one um, after I put this one in the binding thing is so I will do this one off the camera and I will be right back guys okay guys so now I'm back so now I cover this one side here only this one I haven't covered yet because we're waiting for the the binding Okay, you don't want to put this one out of you're going to have this problem later. Okay, you have to wait for this part. So you're going to cut the chipboard at this. It, I cut two pieces in the back and the front. It six and one quarter by three and a half. Yeah, I make it exactly the same of this. Okay, and for this part, this one, it depends on how much gap between your album you need it to be so this one one eight inch gap so you can make a little smaller so be really tight it's up to you so this one is three and a half by two and a half you need two inches um, two pieces for this one and this one I decided to make it shorter this three and a half by one and a quarter this one actually this one and a half so I decided to make a little bit shorter Okay, so now you want to use a stop code He's here with me. He's scared of the storm. So now, I feel with you, Mama, please. Um, yes, honey. Being mac and cheese guy. Hey, I almost see my mac and cheese. All right. Now you want to use a cardstock is match with the paper paper bag okay so since I use the craft paper I'm gonna use a craft color since I don't really have a craft one you know when I do the the, the back one with black you know bags on the bags I, I have the black color but I think I like the craft one better I think it's like sturdier than the black one so anyway, so I don't have the paper, the cross cut stock, so I'm going to use this pattern paper, I'm going to use flip the side, so I'm going to use this side. Alright, however you can use this, but same with this one, I actually use this, uh, the same paper, but I did flip it, so I want to use only on the craft ones, okay? So now here another expensive. So this one is whole by six inches paper. I cut in half six inches. Now we're going to use all the skull tape here behind here. You're gonna use all the skull tape. I know expensive part. I'm telling you. So 
I'll be right back. I'm gonna do this off camera. Okay, guys, I'm back. So after I get all my paper, um, on my uh, Scout here Friday, and now we're gonna join this together. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use a lot of this paper for the uh, for this album. And I don't have a craft paper. Now I'm gonna peel this one off. Enjoy this one. On the furniture, say. Okay. See that? So pretty good, huh? Now, so you want to arrange this one. I don't know. It's really going to be a back, and this one going to be right here, and this one going to be right there, and this one. It's gonna be right here, right there, and the last one. Oh, this one going to be the flap right there. Now, what I like to do this because oh, you want this uh, straight line at money, you can auto wire you are, uh, you know what I mean? If you not, you if you make it quick, get like it, it's, your album is not gonna stay in shape, like level up. I mean, on the back and the front, okay? So, what I like to do when doing this, I actually mark it. So, I'm gonna mark. Okay, I'm gonna do this easy. With, it is for my. Um, the way how I like to do it okay so I'm gonna use my Lula here to create the lie so I'm gonna use a pencil here so make sure it's straight my hand move okay here the storm so I'm gonna do that to the end of this so when I lie my chipboard it was straight so like that now I don't know which part you want to start but I'm going to start from here on this corner here okay so I already know for sure this I have a little over this so no problem usually you did like like this one for light them up if you have enough paper but I already do know that I have enough paper okay this one up at the bottom of the line and I'm going to burnish this now here the important part what you need to do is score around the shipboard here is that what it does is uh, you, bake, uh, you break the fiber break <laughs> you break the fiber and it's easy for you when you open your album really often. If you don't do that, it will crack your album. So I'm gonna do this. Score like that. I'm gonna gonna fold it. See, like this. Create it like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing. With this you can do later after you do. Like Mm. 
do at the same time and be gentle okay guys you don't want to break this it's kind of paper it, sometimes it do tear if you're not careful same thing with this and I'm gonna fold this one like that and open it up and now the next piece because this one is up front so I know what what piece next so this is a front so now I'm gonna move to mm -hmm. next what go put it back please so now we're going to peel this again you want to leave the spit a little bit like one eight inch so it's if you don't make it um is you know the space otherwise you have problem open your album and you want you gonna tear your album so I'm gonna make like at least one eight inch the gap there so just to make sure if you bone photo can put fit in there if fit you are good now you can burn it same thing you want to go in and crease deep see like that for this side you can do it later when you put all the pieces and now next piece is going to be my back right here so the back piece Now I'm going to light this one up. Again, make sure you have enough space there. Make sure, yep. Now burn it. Shh. Uh huh. And uh, now you going to shh. Hey, enough. I'm making the video of his lollipop, okay? Alright, I'm back. Sorry guys. So I'm gonna fold this on again. So it just make your um, album is easier to, you know, go in and out. And it helps a lot on the corner so it doesn't crack. If you don't do that, you don't break the fiber. It's easy for your album to crack. Now the next piece is going to be this one. Again, light up there and make sure you have at least one inch, in, one eight inch scalp there. Burnish and right there. And for the last one is a piece right here. This piece, this tiny piece right there. Again, you only have more bit there also. Now you can actually trim this one off with a little bit too much. Now you can do this, score this one, just freeze this one, nine and tight. If you don't do this, this will look, you know, as crack guys see this what it does is smooth all these the edges here guys like 
I know, I decided to do the video when the storm coming. <laughs> If you want to cut your corner, you, I kind of cut this. You want to have at least one eight inch away from the corner, so you you don't want to cut to the edge of the uh, the shipboard. You know why? Because when you fold it, it will show. So you wanna cut one eight inch away from the corner. Same with this one. Now, what you wanna do? You wanna cut a craft crust up, and we're gonna do a cover on this hole here. Okay, and I will be right back. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna cut some paper here and with the adhesive.